All right, question 13. An isosceles triangle has a base of 20 centimeters and an altitude of 40. Okay, the easiest thing to do here is to, is to sketch this thing out here. So this has got 20 and that's 40 here. Find the dimensions of the largest rectangle that can be inscribed in the triangle um, with the uh, recanting sitting on the base of the triangle. That should be rectangle. Okay, that's, that's got to be fixed there. Anyway, so we're going to put the rectangle in here. A question like this is actually a similar triangle problem. Notice that the largest triangle here is similar to the, the triangle at the top here. If I make the base of my rectangle x and the height y, then I really do have a way of, of comparing the, the two triangles. I know that the height of the overall triangle over the base will be equal to the height of this little triangle here which will be 40 minus y, based on how I've drawn that. So the whole length minus the, the height of the rectangle over the base of the rectangle, x. If I do a little bit of cross multiplication there, I'm going to get 40x is equal to 800 minus 20y. Okay, And we'll see where I want to go with that in just a bit. So I want to maximize the area of that rectangle. So that's going to be area is x times y. So that's x times, well, i got to get rid of one of these things here, and I would typically get rid of y here, so maybe what I'll do is I'll bring the 20y over, bring the 40x over, and then divide by 20, which gets me 40 minus 2x. Actually, that, that works out quite nice. I like that. So up here, I will put that 40 minus 2x in for y and expand that out. Now you might recognize this sort of question from, from Math 20. You would have done stuff like this where you completed the square on this, but taking the derivative is, is a whole lot easier. Set the derivative equal to zero, and then we just got to solve for the variable x. Okay, And the question here is asking for the dimension, so right away we know that the, the base of the triangle is going to be 10. And then based on my expression for y, I can tell you right away that y is equal to 20. And those are the dimensions of the rectangle.